The RDO's Electronics and Radar Development Establishment is holding talks with the Indian Navy for the development of a gallium nitride-based AESA fire control radar for the twin-engine deck-based fighter program. The new radar will be based on the baseline radar being developed for the AMCA fifth-generation fighter program, but will include a slew of other improvements and enhancements to meet maritime requirements. The radar will be capable of taking a synthetic aperture radar map running it through an algorithm on the aircraft and geo-registering it. Some of the discussed features include sea surface search and tracking, as well as real-time targeting data transmission to multiple weapons at the same time. Hindustan Aeronautics Pirate Electronics and Medani Group are carrying out increments of the Russian AL-31F engine with locally manufactured components that will last much longer and also improve its performance, and will replace some of the high-end Russian components that require frequent changes. INDU has been manufacturing the AL-31F engines from raw material stage for years, that powers the Su-30 fleet that is likely to remain in active service till 2045, due to which such initiatives are being taken to fix some of the prolonged technical issues and deficiencies in the engine. INDU has decided not to seek certification of the engine from Russia, as these components have been cleared after trials on a test bed, and have reduced the need for frequent changes of these components. Bharat Electronics Limited had entered into a collaboration and marketing agreement with JSR Dynamics Private Limited in 2020, to develop a miniature ground launch decoy. As per latest information, Bharat Electronics has procured six units of miniature ground launch decoy airframes from JSR Dynamics, and is incorporating its technology to develop the prototypes of the system that will be used for developmental trials. It will be powered by turbojet engine, and it will have active and passive electronic warfare decoy capability to deceive even advanced enemy integrated air defense systems. The programmable decoy can also duplicate the combat flight profiles and signatures of different aircraft, including the adversary aircraft. INDU has issued first NOTAM warning for the year 2023, for a missile test for the period between 4th to 6th January, and the designated area is 475 km in length, which could be a test of the RDO's hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle for a longer duration. The HSTDV was tested for more than 20 seconds during its last test at a speed of 2 km per second, and it will now be tested for a longer duration. The successful test of HSTDV will serve as the building block for next-generation long-range hypersonic cruise missiles under Project Vishnu. The Army Airborne Training School and two Special Forces units have reported a number of shortcomings in the newly procured airborne helmets, after 25 paratroopers from elite commando units received injuries while conducting jumps earlier this year, as a result of faulty design of the airborne helmets. The Army has filed a complaint with the manufacturer, and has asked manufacturers to create redesigned airborne helmets. The Airports Authority of India has approved the allotment of 50-acre land to the TAR to Advanced Systems, for setting up a final assembly line of C-295 military transport aircraft in collaboration with Airbus Defence, and a maintenance repair and overhaul facility at the Vadodara Airport. Apart from 56 C-295 aircraft for the Indian Air Force, 15 additional units will be ordered for the Navy and Coast Guard. The Air Force is also considering the possibility of ordering 90 more units to replace the AN-32 aircraft, while the Tartu Advanced Systems is also planning to offer a civilian variant of C-295 aircraft under the government's regional connectivity scheme. Oh, my God.